you don't need to be an engineer or an architect to see what happened to those buildings. Any honest investigator would be looking at this and looking for explosives and so forth. The NIST investigation didn't go there. They just would not look for explosives. This has been uh, the work of independent researchers, not NIST. So the preconceived notion of NIST is that there's no evidence for explosives and so there's no point in looking. Uh, that is the most unscientific thing that you can possibly think of, not to look because you don't expect to find evidence, and in fact the evidence is overwhelming that these red-grade crystals are very high temperature incendiaries. They state these conclusions for which there's virtually no evidence, and then they ignore conclusions that can be drawn from the evidence. The only way that a building can accelerate as it collapses is by having pre-engineered, precisely timed and precisely placed explosives, in other words, controlled demolition. We have a professional responsibility and I urge every engineer and architect and demolitions expert and anybody that has any knowledge in this field to examine the evidence and stand up and be counted because the rest of the world is dependent upon us. We know we've been lied to about 9-11. Uh, we don't know for sure who did it. We don't know exactly how they did everything. And that's why we need a new investigation to find out. We do know that there was a massive cover-up, that there was evidence hidden and destroyed. The American people absolutely need the truth of 9-11.